Command and control policies can take many forms. We've seen how a technology forcing policy has been used in Australia to phase out inefficient light bulbs. Now let's look at Japan, where a performance standard has been used to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions from appliances and motor vehicles. This policy has been so effective that today Japan has the most fuel efficient vehicle fleet in the world. And the energy efficiency of appliances has improved by up to 80%. So how was this achieved? Well, the Japanese government was an early mover, starting the country's energy efficiency transformation in 1999, with the introduction of the Top Runner program. This initiative implemented a set of efficiency standards for energy intensive products, such as home appliances and motor vehicles. Today, the program covers 23 product categories, including refrigerators, computers, air conditioners, and passenger cars. Energy efficiency targets are set for each product category by benchmarking to the most efficient model on the market, which is designated as the top runner. Manufacturers are then given a period of time, for example, five years, to adjust their products and sales to meet this performance standard. Compliance with the standard is rewarded through a top runner eco-labelling program encouraging consumers to choose more energy efficient products. And the Top Runner program penalises non-compliance with a name and shame approach by publicly disclosing the names of companies that fail to meet the efficiency targets. In doing so, the policy threatens the non-compliant company's brand image, creating a disincentive to simply maintain the status quo. The Japanese government may also choose to issue recommendations, compliance orders and financial penalties. Under the Top Runner program, efficiency targets are reviewed and increased gradually over time. Since the introduction of the performance standard, there has been a strong increase in the energy efficiency of targeted products. In fact, all targets across all product categories have been met or exceeded ahead of schedule. As of 2007, average annual electricity consumption by computers had decreased by around 81% and by more than 55% for refrigerators. Overall, the top runner program is estimated to have reduced Japan's annual emissions by 25 million tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent. Under this policy, energy efficiency is now considered to be a competitive advantage. The mandatory nature of the policy pushes producers to meet the standards and to consider energy efficiency in their product development strategy, which they might not have done otherwise. Now, this case study from Japan and our previous one from Australia are just two examples of command and control policies in action but there are many more from around the world. In fact, they're probably more common than you think. And although command and control is often not the preferred policy approach to climate change, we've seen through these case studies, the role they can play in restricting greenhouse gas emissions from lighting to motor vehicles and appliances such as computers and refrigerators.